It's now late in 2022. Unfortunately, we're not quite ready to release the green version of 16 Blade, but our team is still focused on delivering this product manufactured to our high standards as soon as possible. For more information, please visit the Q&A section on our website. This has recently been revised to include new questions and answers relating to our release schedule, availability in different countries, and pricing. If you're interested in that, please head over to evsenhance.com forward slash aftermarket hyphen battery. I'll now pass you over to Sam, who is going to go through some of the technical aspects of the 16 blade green active thermal management system. With the exception of its high voltage battery, the Nissan LEAF has proved itself as one of the most reliable electric vehicles money can buy. Despite this, it has still received its fair share of criticism for the lack of any cooling system within its high voltage battery. 16 Blade by EVs Enhanced is a complete battery solution designed by a team of passionate engineers to be the perfect companion for an already fantastic electric vehicle. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at 16 Blades Advanced Active Thermal Management System for the Nissan LEAF. Why does thermal management matter? All batteries, not only in electric vehicles, are designed with an optimal operating temperature range that not only ensures the best possible performance for charging and discharging, but also ensures the battery enjoys the longest possible operating life. In the case of electric vehicle batteries, Factors such as climate conditions or continuous rapid DC charging can very easily push the battery outside of these optimal operating conditions. This can result in a frustrating driving experience and premature battery degradation. Designing 16 Blade from the ground up has allowed us to develop our own modules, battery management system and active thermal management to ensure it operates as a highly efficient self-contained battery system. Some of you may recognise our 2016 Nissan LEAF, affectionately known as Orange Ruffy, from a previous video showcasing its dual motor four-wheel drive system. This project got shelved some time ago though, due to there not being a suitable battery available, but with 16 blade that all changes. Today, with the help of Orange Ruffy, we'll be taking a closer look at 16 blades highly advanced active thermal management system. This system goes beyond basic cooling, to incorporate a liquid thermal management system that can both cool and heat the battery based on the current environmental conditions. The key to the system is a special dielectric fluid named MyVolt, made by our friends at M and I Materials. Traditional cooling systems run fluid through channels adjacent to the object being cooled. These systems are less efficient due to their higher thermal resistance and cells in partial contact with cooling features can lead to some parts of the cells running hotter than others. In 16 Blades thermal management system, MyVolt is pumped through the battery modules with the cells fully submerged in this dielectric fluid. This immersion cooling design leads to far more efficient heat transfer and more importantly, cell hotspots are avoided. MyVolt is special among dielectric fluids as it is halogen free meaning it contains no nasty and environmentally damaging fluoroalkanes. Even better, MyVolt is biodegradable. It is also considered non-toxic, although we take the usual precautions used for motor oils and other automotive fluids when handling MyVolt. That isn't to say that designing a battery system with MyVolt is trivial, particularly because of material compatibility requirements and the viscosity of the fluid compared with a traditional water glycol system. However, the technical team at M&I Materials who created MyVolt have been excellent in helping us to navigate past these challenges, and all things considered, we're very happy with our choice to use MyVolt in our thermal management system. Let's take a closer look at the components that make up 16 Blades Active Thermal Management System. These include a cooling radiator, switching valve for heating and cooling modes, circulating pump, liquid reservoir and expansion bladder, 
and a cold weather heating element. While this is the only configuration that we'll be offering in our home New Zealand market, which has a relatively mild climate, for markets with more extreme climates, it is certainly possible to add configurations with more powerful heating elements or cooling systems that can cool below ambient temperature. 16 Blade contains more than just a cooling system. It contains a complete active thermal management system capable of both cooling and heating the battery, maintaining the optimal battery temperature and offering the best possible user experience. A combination of heating elements and cooling radiators are all controlled by 16 Blade's custom battery management system. Let's see it in action. A leaf fitted with 16 Blade pulls up to a DC fast charger. It's been a long cross country trip and it's time for a rest. To prevent overheating during charging, 16 Blade's BMS activates the switching pump to route my vault through the radiator and back through the battery where the submerged cells within the 16 blade modules easily dissipate heat back into the thermal management system. In no time at all 16 blade is recharged and this leaf is ready for the next leg of its journey. LFP cells as used in the green variant of 16 blade are widely appreciated for their safety, reliability and relatively high heat tolerance. While some LFP cells can charge with very high C rates, the cells we use feature one of the highest energy densities commercially available in LFP chemistry. With this high energy density comes a reduction in the ability to charge at high rates without getting too hot, so fast charging performance would need to be heavily restricted based on temperature, much like the original battery packs found in the leaf. However, Pairing these cells with a highly efficient thermal management system leads to a great combination of energy density, user experience and longevity. Fast charging aside, we also need to consider the operating range for low temperature. This is especially true for LFP which is unable to be charged below freezing. After a long day at work, a leaf fitted with 16 blade arrives home to be plugged into AC charging. It's the middle of winter and the forecast tonight is below freezing. As the temperature drops, 16 blades BMS switches the pump to bypass the radiator so my vault flows back to the pack through the heating element. Heated my vault flows directly across the cells to ensure smooth charging while maintaining a healthy battery. As the liquid is heated and cooled, it expands and contracts. Here on the top of the thermal management system, located right next to the reservoir, is the liquid expansion bladder. This specially designed bladder allows my vault in the system to safely expand and contract. All of these features work in unison with the help of M and I's novel dielectric fluid to make the 16 blade the ultimate battery solution that the Nissan Leaf deserves.